folks. In today's video I'm going to show you how I make my silicon moulds. I just use a plain silicon. Um, it is nothing special. It's probably the cheapest I can get my hands on. Um, and I'm using wheat and corn flour. This is so simple. A little bit messy but very simple. Um, I'm just mixing in the silicon into the corn flour. You notice I've got gloves on because it does get very very sticky to start with um, and I will continue working with the gloves until I feel it coming together and it's um, not sticky and it's not going to stick to my hands when I start rolling it and working with it to get to a shape. When it all comes together it's really quite silky smooth and will leave great indentations. In this particular instance I'm just using it to make a coaster base. But I have made fleur de lis and from necklaces and things like that and it has been fantastic. It is my preferred method um, compared to working with the silicon and water. That is good, but this is a little bit better. These um, moulds will last quite a while. I tend to keep mine in an airtight container and um, the longevity of them is really good. Um, the silicon will take, or the silicon and the corn flour will take around oh, maybe 24 hours to fully cure. Um, I probably wouldn't tend to work with it any sooner than that. This is the finished dried mould that was made with the silicon and um, corn flour. Um, the round one turned out really well, great for pouring in resin and also casting plaster. Um, pushing in to moulds works fine as well. This is a couple of years old, still works fine. This one didn't turn out so great. The mould itself is perfect, but my shaping of it was atrocious. So what I would suggest, instead of throwing it out, you can actually turn it into a stamp by carving out with a stamping, you know, with a carving tool, just like that, and do the shape that you want. You can add paint to it. So obviously you can see there that I've added um, a little bit of blue. And it's still got the corn flour on it. And this was made maybe a year or so ago. So you can see it's still flexible. Um, and I have done them this shape so I can do some stamps with it. Yeah, so I hope you found this video good. And you've got a few hints and tips how to make your, your moulds and your stamping bases with corn flour and silicon.